Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore. I am delighted to be in touch with you through this audio message, encouraging our walk with Christ in this world. In this episode, I like to share some thoughts on lust versus love. Lust would mean strong desire of the flesh and fleshy mind. Lust entices us with promises of feeling great with lasting pleasure. Lust will leave us unsatisfied and will push us to greater heights by crossing our personal and social boundaries. Uncontrolled lust will lead us on a path to self-destruction. Lust has many destructive effects. The most serious effect is that love corrupts our ability to love God. Apostle John explained that lust is a way of loving the world. In 1 John 2.16 we read, All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Lust is a serious sin which builds a spiritual barrier. In gratifying our sinful nature, we turn from what God has planned for us and we seek fulfillment in the wrong place, finding spiritual emptiness. Like in the case of David, lust will definitely infect, corrupt and kill us gradually. On the other hand, love is intense feeling of affection and care towards other person. Our life will show if we have love, faithfulness, integrity, willing to help and sacrifice, etc. symptoms of love. Joy is love's music. Peace is love's agreement. Long-suffering is love's endurance. Kindness is love's service. Goodness is love's department. And faithfulness is love's measure. We are born alone and die alone, but love brings relationships and friendships in between in our life. Once D.L. Modi said, Faith makes all things possible and love makes all things easy. Saint Augustine said, Love has the hands to help others, the feet to hasten to the poor and needy the eyes to see misery and want, the ears to hear the shies and sorrows of men. You can always give without loving, but you can never love without giving, so said Amy Carmichael. Friends, love is a verb. It is what you do more than what you say or what you think. In 1 John 3.18, we are told, Let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Thank you.